The Lady Raiders pulled out a heart-pounding 68-66 double overtime victory against Big 12 foe Kansas State Saturday afternoon. The first half was a defensive struggle with Tech shooting only 39% from the field, but managed to go into the break with a five-point lead. The second half was all about runs as Tech started off the half on a 6-0 run. K-State responded with a 13-0 run of their own to take a two-point lead. Tech then countered with a 10-1 run to go up 45-38. With 2.2 seconds remaining in regulation, K-State guard Brittany Chambers hit a layup to tie the game at 50. Tech had one last chance to win in regulation, but Kiera Mallard was unable to handle the long inbound pass. In the first overtime, K-State jumped all over the Lady Raiders and pushed their lead to nine with just 143 remaining. But that's when the three-point shooting of the Lady Raiders came alive as Jordan Barncastle banked one in off the backboard. And after two consecutive free throws missed by Chambers, Mary Bokenkamp threw up a prayer and it was answered, tying the game at 62 and forcing another overtime. The second overtime only consisted of 10 points between the two squads, but the only two that mattered came courtesy of China Brown with just a tenth of a second remaining. <laughs> Head coach Christy Curry then spoke on how pleased she is with her girls. You know, our kids again showed a lot of resilience, resiliency and toughness down the stretch. And, um, you know, really proud for them, really proud of them. The Lady Raiders, now 16-1, will hit the road this week to play some important road games against 14th-ranked Oklahoma this Wednesday and the top-ranked Baylor Lady Bears this Saturday. With the Daily Toyador, this is Andrew Nepsend signing off.